Good Wednesday, everyone. Looking at our radar at 720 this evening, you'll notice some showers developing. I'll try to draw those in here right quick. I'm going to highlight Cumberland County. Here's Cumberland County. Let me do that in red. Okay, so there's Cumberland County. I just circled Cumberland County, and you'll see these showers I'm circling those as well. Those are developing right now. Those could develop lightning at any moment. The big stuff, though, is still way back out here. We've got some, ooh, got some um, nice looking cells developing down here in northern Mississippi, um, even southern middle Tennessee. So those will be moving east, northeast as we go through the night. Um, so just showing you that the radar is beginning to get active. Um, don't be surprised if we see some watches um, as we go on into the night as things begin to get more and more active um, with time. So these are the current watches and warnings that are in effect. A lone severe thunderstorm warning up there in southern Ohio, but to the west is what we're concerned about. The dark green shaded counties, that's flash flood watches, and those could be extended north and east with time. I'm just kind of waiting. I think they're kind of waiting to see on just how much rainfall develops tonight. And then the yellow shaded boxes you see out there, yellow shaded counties, is a tornado watch. So, and that goes till 10 p.m. And again, don't be surprised if you see tornado watches extended eastward, at least across southern middle Tennessee. And it'll be interesting to see if they um, capture any of the counties of the Cumberland Plateau. I think those of us in Cumberland County have a greater risk for severe weather tonight than those of you in Fentress County, um, though none of us are completely out of the woods. So this is your hourly temperature and precipitation chance graph. So you'll see 8 p.m. or 64 degrees with about a 30% chance for showers and thunder showers. And then as we get on closer to the 10 o'clock hour, temperatures in the low 60s with a 70% chance for showers and thunderstorms. And then as we get closer to the 11 o'clock midnight, 1 a.m., that's when our rain and storm chances are the highest. So that's why our storm threat is greatest in that time frame. So the main threat time frame looks to be between 9 p.m. and 2 a.m. Um, flash flooding, a high threat. Um, we've also got uh, straight line winds, got a hell threat, um, and also have a low end tornado threat. But as we all know, it just takes one tornado to make for a uh, for a bad night. And um, so we'll be keeping a close eye on those storms. I do think that is a, a low end threat. Um, if you want to go to bed, just make sure your weather radio is turned on. And also make sure your smartphone is turned on too and that you can hear it to do alerts. Don't silence it um, before you go to bed. That way you'll have at least a couple of ways of getting a warning if one were to be issued. And we can't forget Friday. Um, Friday morning, it's now looking like the main threat time frame, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Timing could still change on that. And then we have all modes of severe weather once again um, threatening us with um, perhaps a little bit better chance um, for a tornado, um, and uh, so we'll have to keep a close eye on that. Um, that is a very powerful storm system coming in here on Friday, um, and it is going to be a wind maker. Um, we've had some windy days this season, but Friday could top them all. Um, we may have wind gusts you know, um, commonly over 50 miles an hour, and the concern with that is, aside from the threat for severe weather, we're all going to have the strong gusty winds. My concern is that we're going to have all this rain tonight, one to two inches at least. And then we have some more rain coming on Thursday, but we don't have a severe weather threat on Thursday or Thursday night as things look right now. But I do want you to stay tuned for that because we are going to be very unstable, but we just don't have anything to really lift that unstable air up into the atmosphere. We don't have a cold front coming through tomorrow or an upper level disturbance or something that could kick that air up into the atmosphere above and get it to making storms. If something were to change with that, then we'd have a different situation. But, um, but it is, it's looking more and more like Thursday is going to be okay. But we do have showers in the forecast, and those showers will be with us through Thursday night. So our ground is going to be very saturated when we get these 50-plus mile-per-hour wind gusts on Friday. And so shallow-rooted trees will fall, um, or at least have the potential for falling. And then you've got, uh, then that can lead to power outages. So be prepared for some power outages on Friday. A very windy day. And a very stormy day as it's looking. Um, a pretty good risk for some, um, some thunderstorms, and those could be strong to severe. And again, all modes of severe weather are possible. So um, I'll be monitoring this um, through the evening. Um, I'm seeing the showers that I was showing you on the radar um, just a moment ago. They they are intensifying a little bit. So at any moment, we could see some lightning strikes. 
um, with any of these showers on the Cumberland Plateau. Um, nothing severe in the near term, um, but uh, I'll keep an eye on things. The Storm Prediction Center will likely issue some watches as we go later on into the evening, and it'll be interesting to see if those include um, any of the plateau, any of the plateau counties. So. I'll keep a close eye on things. Um, you all just keep it right here at meteorologistsmart.com.